Hey everyone, welcome back to the Goff House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and we are hanging out in my pantry today. Um, hopefully this lighting isn't going to bother you. I can't do anything about it. I can't make it dim. It is a huge bright light, but it's pretty dark in this pantry. Otherwise there's no, um, we do have a window, but we keep it covered. So there's no other natural light or anything. So hopefully it won't bother you. Anyway, I wanted to come on here really quick and I want to do, I want to open up discussion um, about things that we might be missing in our pantry. I've been talking to my friend Linda over at Linda's Pantry and my friend Beth, and we have been talking about things that we might be missing in our pantry. Um, we have our ideas and we've, this weekend I went out and I did stock up on, on lots of things that I thought I was missing in my pantry and having holes. But as we're talking about it, uh, we're, I, you know, thinking there's gotta be other things that we're missing here. And with everything going on in the world right now, it's kind of scary and we have no control over that. What I do have control is, the thing I do have control about is prepping. Um, adding things to my pantry for my own peace of mind because it's something I can control and if our food supply, and we do know things are getting harder to find, trucking isn't going through, things are being stopped at the border, so these are things that we know, facts that we know, and food shortages are coming. We've been hearing it, we've been seeing it, so I want to know your thoughts on what else that you're adding into your pantry that we may be missing you know we know we need to stock proteins we know we need to stock vegetables whether they're freeze-dried home dried canned um, commercially bought and canned those kind of things so we know about those but what other things one thing I noticed is that coffee, the coffee crops didn't do well this year. And if you're watching the news, you heard about the coffee crops not doing well. Now, coffee is something that you can't stock up a lot on because it will go rancid. It is full of natural oils. You can freeze it though. So if you've got freezer space, by all means, freeze your coffee. I don't, I have no freezer space. So what I have started doing is finding instant coffee. It will last a little bit longer, especially if you get freeze dried crystals um, for instant coffee. Um, so those will last a little bit longer. I'm still stocking up on some of the instants and then trying to stock up on freeze dried instants um, for just in case. I went to the store this weekend and I got the last canister of coffee left. There were some bricks, but the last canister of coffee. Um, that was on Saturday, so that wasn't even the, through the full weekend, so kind of scary. Coffee is going to be on shortage. The coffee crops did not do well. Vanilla has also been kind of a little bit on shortage or very expensive when you do find it vanilla beans because those crops didn't do well this year. That not necessarily a necessity. So I don't think I'll be stocking up on vanilla beans, but that's something to think about if that's something that you use a lot of. Another thing that I have been thinking about is fish. This may not be your first choice for food and you may not like it, but guess what? Um, let me grab another one here. I have stocked up on the kippers, mackerel, and these were actually on special two for $4. And sardines. So here's the thing. This kind of stuff is important because it's full of omega-3 fatty acid. So even though it's something that you may not really like and something that you're not necessarily thinking, yep, I'm going to eat that, it's kind of good because it's the omega-3 fatty acids. There are ways to prepare it that you're not going to notice it, but you are going to be getting those in. Those are really important for your diet. So it is something I am stocking up on. We are stocking, obviously, canned meats, things like that. Um, I have also been finding this kind of stuff and stocking up on it. I actually do like canned ham, a lot of sodium, but this could be how many dinners, you know? So that's something to also think about along with your stock ups. The other thing too is canned cheese. This one's cheese sauce, Velveeta. This stuff lasts forever <laughs> and it's cheese that is shelf stable. Also Parmesan cheese. I don't have any out here because my last one is in the house. Um, but that's also kind of important to stock up on. You may not like American cheese that much, but if you have a recipe that calls for cheese and you're not going to notice that big American flavor, it's something to stock up on. Um, 
obviously we prefer cheddar too, but you can also find that kind of stuff. It freeze dried, freeze dried cheeses. Um, garbage bags, something else that you don't think about. Linda and I were talking about it. I'm due to order another box. I, I get them from Amazon and I order, I go through about two boxes per year of garbage bags because I order the big cases. So this might be time to order just a few more, just in case you never know. Um, things like emergency candles. If you've got a generator, you might need gas. Uh, everybody thinks about water, but gosh, you go through a lot of water. I've been thinking about it. There's no way I'd be able to stock up enough water around here <laughs> for any amount of time, maybe a few months worth, believe me. But as I'm, I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking, I don't, I have so many things going through my head right now. It's just impossible to know everything that we should stock up on. So I want to hear all of your ideas. So I'm putting this video out um, right now because I want you to start thinking about things that we absolutely need, that we are going to need in our pantries that most of us aren't going to think about because there are a lot of us preppers out there. And if we come together and think about it, we can come up with an even better list. So this Wednesday, we are going to do a live and I am going to do it at 5 p.m my time which is i'm on mountain time right now mountain standard time so that would be four o'clock on pacific time it would be six o'clock central time seven o'clock eastern time so get ready bring your ideas take some notes make sure you bring them with you i want to hear all of your ideas i want to hear what you're stocking up on i want to hear what holes you have in your pantry what areas need filled um we can we can do this together all right, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you on Wednesday.